Come on out, I'm about you, I'm not about you, I just have a real youth, a real Rasta youth. Generally not the thing you better know.
mindset, mindset. Mm-hmm. Blessed love, pleasant good evening, good afternoon. Holy Emmanuel I, King Celestia, Ja Rastafari. Do give thanks and praise for life, health and strength. One more day, we are above ground. And I want to say manners and respect for everyone that's really taking the time out today to view what we have um, to present today. Seen? Um, this is just a continuation of the speech by His Majesty Emperor E. Selassie I, the first in June 30, 1936 at the League of Nations in Geneva, Switzerland. Um, we was um, dealing with this on Wednesday and we, we kind of did run out of time in terms of um, what we had to deal with um, and, and, and the rest of the program. See? We did a look for um, continue next Wednesday, which is the 13th of um, January. See? But... Ones are calling out for for I and I to conclude um, the whole setting. So this is why we're here today and this is why we're making this video. Zin, um, yesterday was um, Ethiopian Christmas. Zin, as many would say, um, in Ethiopia it's Melkam Gena, seen. So I want to say welcome, Gena, to all my Black Ethiopian brothers and sisters, near and far, seen. Manners and respect to the item royal art of celebration going through the earth right now. Um, we know it's seven nights of Naya Bingi, seen at ten miles Bull Bay. And also the Naya Bingi House, I would suppose um, that, you know, seven nights of Bingi is, is cutting through the earth like a living man right about now. Zin, so one of the large up the item, one of the same manners and respect to all of the ones them all in the foot. Zin, yes I. All the foot were there upon the battlefield, Zane, and a lot would say we at we at war, seen, yeah. Bob Marley did um a song, war, and it was an extract from His Majesty's speech that um he did in Geneva. Zin, um, and this was all because of the Italians wanted to take control of Ethiopia. Zin, and His Majesty had to had to go to Geneva, the League of Nations, in person to deal with the matter that was at hand. Right, so. Bob Marley made the song out of His Majesty's speech and as I was saying um and part one of 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 this episode that um it was the the, 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 the song itself is is a revolutionary song see and it bring it bring a lot of attention to His Majesty's speech, right? And a lot of people didn't know that it was His Majesty that wrote the speech. And Bob Marley um, took some of it and put it 
and put it into put it into a song. See? Now a whole lot of talk we 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 um we hear you know whole lot reasoning we 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 hear elders you know um speak about Bob Marley and also that song cuz I think the right honorable prof priest honorable priest prince emmanuel told bob marley that he shouldn't um title the song war don't know 100% how you know factual that is but that is something that you know we grew up hearing you know in the bobo shanti ada of things you know what i mean so his majesty did the speech and it wasn't like he was doing a speech to get an award or a nobel prize or something like that his country was under attack by a dictator and a murderer which was Mussolini and his Italian brothers now that is the reality that is the reality of the situation see yeah that is uh, the reality uh, 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 how the thing really set up so before we go into the speech itself Zin, we just want to um, shine some light. Shine some light on exactly why His Majesty had to come to the forefront and deal with the matter himself. Zin, because in 1928 there was a treaty between Ethiopia and Italy. And Italy never really want no form of um where that say no form of reasoning then. They didn't want any reasoning, they just wanted to take over Ethiopia and that is that because the rest of their brothers and sister had already taken over the continent of Africa and Ethiopia was the only place that was left on the map that wasn't colonized and take over by Europe. So, I mentioned a book, Zin, and I'm going to read from, I'm going to read um, a little part from the book. I'm not going to go deep in it. But the book is titled Il Selassie, The Formative Ears. See? This is this is this is the book. Yeah? Yes. This is the book, my brothers and sisters. And the book is written by Aral. I'm a get him name properly, Harold G. Marcus. See? E. Selassie, the formative years. Right? And this is from 1892 to 1936. And we just have to read a little thing. I read, we have to do a lot of reading to the cars. We have to read the speech. See? And the reason why, because you have a lot of people out there is saying that the speech itself was for the whole of humanity. Right? Maybe so. But based on what we have and what we know, who the speech was for, is was directed to Italy, which is a European country, 
that is in the League of Nations and also in the European Union. Right? So, I can read from Il Selassie's formative years. Yeah? And I quote, Il Selassie moved quickly to consolidate the central government gain in July 1932. He made Desta he made Desta Demers Ras and added Lijastu I beg your pardon. He added Jimina and his domain all through. He permitted Ababa Right. You know say at the at the at the wrong place you read from, you know. That's why it 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 um it look away. I beg your pardon, my lord. And Empress, my brothers and sister, you make we get this thing correct. See? So, reading, continue reading. Raphael Gorilfa, Gorilga, recall that in the late September 1934, he learned that Mussolini had decided resolutely to deal with the Ethiopians question. The Welwe hostility provided a situation to exploit all through it remain unclear if at the outset the Italians intended to transform the incident into a war. Il Selassie I thought the crisis could be settled peacefully. But when Bal Balganta Aru invoke the attribution provisions of the 1928 treaty, the Italian refused to negotiate Claiming an out, claiming an aggression that rendered Article Five Mont Rome instead that it Ethiopia as the culprit should formally apologize, formally apologize, apologize instead that Ethiopia as the culprit should formally apologize at the Welle rendering honors. There is no Italian flag pay an indemnity of 200,000 and arrest and dis dismiss the effort Dismiss the officers responsible for the outrage because Wale was within Ethiopia. The emperor found the response so unreasonable that he decided to take the matter to the League of Nations, which Rome alleged marked a new stage in the controversy. If indeed it did not create a new situation, Italy continued to consider itself the aggrieved party. And they argue and the argument that its right to Wallawa is in any case 
dubious is not is not admitted to the relevant Italian I pray thee my lord and empress let me free up this because it's like we don't really I see 100% war go on see so I could just do this the Italian stubbornness was fueled by fascism nation of Africa social inferiority and by Mussolini profound hatred and contempt for the Abyssinians whom he could not bring himself to treat on an equal footing. Racism conveyed with rationalization to lead Mussolini to war and December 30th, 1934. He, he circulated to the closest adversaries or advisors the directive and plan of Africa, the direction and plan of action for the resolution of the Italian Abyssinian question. The document claimed that only, listen this good now, you know, the document claimed that only force would obtain Italy's goal in the arm of Africa that Ethiopia armed forces are to be destroyed and the entire country conquered that Il Selassie program of modernization necessity resolving the problem as soon as possible that Italy would have to act before mid-1937 when Germany listen this good now you know, when Germany would be strong enough to take an initiative in Europe and that consequently Ethiopia must be destroyed soon to, to remove a threat to Italy colonies during a general war Mussolini recommended an immediate agreement with France over Ethiopia to ensure Europe's st stability while Italy was preoccupied in Africa in the mid-1932. France had abandoned Ethiopia in principle and by 1934 was being driven to act by the implicit threat from Hitler. Germany a fact and Germany a fact that dominated Europe foreign policies. The Salamonic state was a kind the quay the the quay, the quay de Osser, Osser was willing to exchange for Italy. Now, I'm not going to read no further in, 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 in this zine, but clearly, clearly the item um, get an overstanding that Europe was also, or some of Europe was also against Ethiopia. See? And we have to remember this, that Europe had already conquered see, in certain parts in, 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 in um, Africa, see, and the continent. Ethiopia was the only place that wasn't conquered. And as you hear, um, Mussolini and Germany or Italy and Germany they had plans for Ethiopia Zin, they were just waiting 
um, until um, Hitler had get a little bit stronger. Zin, but it looked like for somehow, some reason, Mussolini couldn't wait, Zin, and him attack Ethiopia. Zin? So, what we are going to do here now, we are going to go, we are going to go, um, we're going to go into the speech. Zin? We are going to go into the speech. All right. We could just go into the speech and see exactly, Zin? See exactly what the speech is saying. Then we are going to continue from where where we 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 left off. I don't know if that is um the item I see that clear enough. Zina uh, it it not really look hundred percent to I still seen um we just pull it up pull it up on my side yeah so seen yeah, so we are go we are go we are gonna continue the reading from 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 um from the speech, my people. Zin so be here with I man. You see me I say we die a fair little moment with the item. Zin, no feel no way. Yeah, no feel no way with there. A little moment. We are gonna make it short and spicy to said way. You see me I say? We're already gone half an hour into our recording, uh, our presentation. Zin? So, all right, so, let's, let's start this thing, you know. We start, make we pick up from where we left off. Zin? So, where we left off was, um, voila. The Walla incident in December 1934 came a uh, thunderbolt to me. The, if it, the Italian provocation was, was obvious and it did not hesitate to appeal to the League of Nations. I invoke the provision of the treaty of 1928, the principle of the covenant. I urge the proceed the, the producers are yeah the procedures of consolidation and a brief uh, uh, let me pronounce this word properly. Abbreviation, 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 and happily for Ethiopia, this was the time when a certain government consider a European situation made it imperative at all costs to obtain the friendship of Italy. The price paid was. The, aban the abandonment of Ethiopian independence to the greed of the Italian government. See, my people, I hope you know, I hope listen, I hope you listen good, you know. See, I hope you know, listen good. Right? I hope you know, listen good. So, what's the power there? The secret agreement contrary to the obligation of the covenant has exerted a great influence over the course of events. Ethiopia, the whole world have suffered and are still suffering today. It's this, this disastrous consequences. This first violation of the covenant was followed by many other. Feeling, its, feeling itself encouraged in its policy against Ethiopia, 
the Rome government fervously, fervously made war preparation, thinking that the con the the con the concerted pressure which was beginning to be exerted on the Ethiopian government might perhaps not overcome the resistance of many people to Italian domination. The time had to come. Thus all sort of difficulties were placed in the way with a view to breaking up the procedure of consolidation and abbreviation. All kind of obstacles were placed in the way of the procedure. Governments try to prevent the Ethiopian government from finding arbitrators amongst their national when once the arbitral tribunal was set up pressure was exercised so that a reward favorable to Italy should be given all this was in vain the attributors two of whom were Italian officials were forced to recognize anemiously that in the Walla incident as in the subsequent incident no international responsibility was being attributed to Ethiopia. Following, following on this award, the Ethiopian government sincerely thought that an era of friendly relation might be open with Italy. I loyally offered my and to Rome government to the Roman government the assembly by the assembly was informed by the report of the committee of 13 dated October 5th, 1935, of the detail of the event which occurred after the month of December 1934 and up until October 3rd, 1935. It will be sufficient if I quote a few of the conclusion of that report. Note, 24 to 25 and 26, the Italian memorandum containing the complaint made by Italy was laid on council table on September 4, 1935, whereas Ethiopia first appealed to the council had been made on December 14, 1934, in the interval between these two dates, the Italian government opposed the consideration of the question by the council on the grounds that the only appropriate procedure was that provided for in the Italio Italian Treaty of 1928 throughout the whole of that period. Moreover, the deepest of the departure of it Italian troops to East Africa was proceeding. These shipments of troops were represented to the were represented to the council by the Italian government as necessary for the defense of its colonies. Men said men said by Ethiopia. Preparation. Ethiopia, on the contrary, draw attention to the official 
pronouncement made in Italy, which in its opinion left no doubt as to the hostile intention of the Italian government. From the outset of the dispute, the Ethiopian government has sought a settlement by peaceful means. It has appealed to the procedure of the government. The Italian government desire to keep strictly to the procedure of the Italo-Ethiopian Treaty of 1928. The Ethiopian government ascended. It's variably stated that it would faithfully carry out the, the, attribu the attribual award even if the decision went against it. Wow. It agreed that the question of the ownership of Wallawa, Walla Walla, should not be dealt with by attributors because the Italian government would not agree to such a course. It asks the council to dispatch neutral observers and offer to lend itself to any inquiries upon which the council may decide. Once the Walla Walla dispute had been settled by attributors, however, the Italian government submitted its detail memorandum to the council in support of the claim to liberty of action. I hear that when I, when I, when I, hear, when I hear these things, my people, when I hear these things, these are, yo, serious, 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 serious. Let me continue the reading, because, you know, let me continue the reading. Let me continue the reading. Over there. Because the Italian government would not agree to such a course, it asked the council to dispatch neutral observers and offer to lend itself to any inquiries upon which the council might decide. Once the Walla Walla dispute has been settled, the attribution, however, the Italian government submitted its detailed memorandum to the council in support of its claim to liberty of action. It asserted that a case like that of Ethiopia cannot be settled by the means of providing by the covenant. It stated, it stated that since this question affects vital interests and is of primary importance of Italian security and civilization, it would be feeling in its most elementary duty, did it not cease once and for all to place any confidence in Ethiopia, reserving full liberty to adopt any measures that may become necessary to ensure the safety of its colony and to safeguard its own interests. Those, those are the terms of the report of the Committee of 13. The Council and the Assembly animously adopted the conclusion that the Italian government had violated, the Italian government had violated the covenant and was in a state of aggression. I did not hesitate to declare that I did not wish for war. I did not hesitate to declare that I did not wish for war. That it was imposed upon me. And I should struggle sore, sorely for the independence 
and integrity of my people. And that in that struggle, I was the defender of the cause of all small state exposed to the greed of a powerful neighbor. In October 1935, the 52 nations who are listed to me today gave me an assurance that the, aggressor, the aggressors would not triumph that the resource of the covenant would be employed in order to ensure the reign of right and the failure of violence. The council did agree that. The assembly did agree that. We will continue reading. I ask the 52 nations not to forget today the policy upon which they embarked. See? Eight months ago and eight months ago and fate of which I directed the resistance of my people against the aggressor whom they had denounced to the world. So, in fairness, in, 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 in fairness, um, the league had denounced Zin according to according to according to what is being um, said here. Zin? Yeah. So we we have to we have to understand that, that the league had denounced at the time. At the time. See? At the time. So what was power there now? Yes, my people. All right. Despite all right. And the fifth of which I directed the resistance of my people against the aggressor whom they had denounced to the world. Despite the inferiority of my weapons, the complete lack of aircraft artillery, monuments and hospital service made confidence in the league was absolute. I thought it would be impossible that 52 nations, including the most powerful in the world, would be successfully opposed by a single aggressor, counting on the feet due to territory. I had made no preparation for war. And that is the case with certain small countries in Europe. When the danger became more urgent, being aware of my responsibility towards my people, during the first six months of 1935, I tried to acquire armament. Many governments proclaimed an embargo to prevent my doing so. Whereas the Italian government, through the Suez, the Suez, the Suez Canal, was given all facility for transporting without cessation, without transporting without succession, and without protest, troops um and Nomination, ammunition. <sighs> wow. On October third, uh, October third, nineteen thirty-five, the Italian troops invaded my territory. A few hours later, only I declared general mobilization 
in my desire to maintain peace, I add, following the example of a great country in Europe and the eve of the Great War. Caused my troop to withdraw 30 kilometers so as to remove any pretext of provocation. War then took place in atrocious, 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 no the word, but I can't pronounce it or more to pronounce it. Atrocious condition which I have led before the assembly. In that unequal struggle between a government command, commanding more than 42 million inhabitants, having at its disposal financial, industrial, and technical means which enable it to create unlimited quantities of the most dead, deadliest weapon and upon other hands a small, a small people of 12 million inhabitants without arms, without resource, having on its side only the justice of its own cause and the promise of the League of Nations, what real assistance was given to Ethiopia by the 52 nations had declared the Rome government guilty of breach of the covenant and had undertaken to prevent the triumph of the aggressor as each of the state's members as it was its duty to do in the virtue of its signatures appended to Article 15 of the Covenant. Consider the aggressor as having committed an act of war personally directed against itself. I had placed all my hopes in the execution of these under undertaking. My confidence had been confirmed by the repeated declaration made in the council to the effect that aggression must not be rewarded and that force would end by being compelled to bow before Right. In, in, in December 1935, the council made it quite clear that it feel, repeating, in December 1935, the council made it quite clear that its feelings were in harmony with those of hundreds of millions of people who in all parts of the world had protested against the proposal to dismember Ethiopia. It was constantly repeated that there was not merely a conflict between the Ethiopian government and the League of Nations. And that is why I personally ref refuse all proposal to any personal advantage made to me by the Italian government. If only I would betray my people and the covenant of the League of Nations. I was defending the cause of all small people who are threatened with aggression. What have become of the promise made to me as long as repeating what have become of the promise made to me as long ago as December 1935. I noted with grief but without surprise that these powers considered their undertaking under the covenant 
as absolutely of no value. The connection with Italy impelled them to refuse to take any measures without with whatsoever in order to stop Italian to stop the Italian aggression and the contrary. On the contrary, it was a profound disappointment to me to learn the attitude of a certain government which whistle ever protesting its scrupulous attachment to the covenant as terrorously terrorless terrorlessly use all its effort to prevent its observ observations of I beg your pardon as terrorlessly use all its effort to prevent the observance as soon as any measure which was likely to be repeated effected was was proposed various pretexts was this device in order to postpone even the consideration of the measures. Did the secret argument of January 1935 provide for this churless obstruction? The, Ita the, the Ethiopian government never expected other governments to shed their soldier blood to defend the government the covenant when their own immediately personal interests were not at stake. Ethiopian warriors asked only for means to defend themselves. On many occasions I have asked for financial assistance for the purchase of arms that assistance has been constantly refused it me what then in practice is the meaning of article 16 of the covenant and of the collective security the ethiopian government used the railway from djibouti to it to addis ababa was in practice a other Hazardous regard, transport of arm intended for the Ethiopian forces. At the present moment, this is the chief, if not the only means of supply of the Italian army of occupation. The rules of neutrality naturally should have prohibited transport intended for Italian forces, but there is not even naturally since the Article 16 laid upon every state member of the League the duty not to remain a neutral but to come to the aid, not of the aggressor, but of the victim of the aggression. As the covenant been respected, is it today being respected? Is the covenant being respected that was made in 1928? That is what... Emperor Il Celestia is asking the League of Nations there. Let's continue reading. Finally, a statement has just been made in the parliament by the government of certain powers. Among them, the most influential member of the League of Nations that since the aggressor has succeeded in occupying a large part of Ethiopian territory, they propose not to continue the application of any economics and financial measures 
that may have been decided upon against the Italian government. These are the circumstances in which at the request of the agent government the uh, the let's read that again my people these are the circumstances in which at the request of the adjacent government the assembly of the league of nation meant to consider the situation created by italian aggression i asserted that the problem submitted to the assembly today is a much wider one. It is not merely a question of settlement of Italian aggression. It is collective security. It is the very existence of the League of Nations. It is the confidence that each state is to place in an international treaty. It is the value of promise made to small state that their integrity and their independence shall be respected and ensured. It is the principle of quality of the state on the one hand, or otherwise the obligation laid upon small powers to accept the bond of vessel ship in a word in its in a word it is international morality that is at stake of the signatures appended to a treaty value only in so far as the signatory power of a personal direct and immediate interest involved no substituted no sub no no substitutely can change the problem or shift the ground of this discussion it is in all sincerity that i submit these consideration to the assembly at a time when my people are threatened with extermination, when the suppose of the league may ward off the final blow, many I be allowed to speak with complete frankness, without returns, in all directness, such as is demanded by the rule of equality as between all state members of the league apart from the kingdom of the lord there is not on this earth any nation that is superior to any other should it happen that a strong government find itself may with impunity destroy a weak people then the hour strike for that weak people to appeal to the League of Nations to give its judgment in all freedom. God and history will remember your judgment. I have heard it asserted that the inadequate sanction already appealed have not achieved their objective. At no time and under no circumstance could sanction that were internationally inadequate, intentionally, bodily appeal. Stop an aggressor. This is not a case of the impossibility of stopping an aggressor, but of the refusal to stop an aggressor. aggressor. So the king, I tell them, say, they are refusing to stop Italy from invading Ethiopia. Continue reading. When Ethiopia requests and requests that she should be given financial assistance, was that 
a measure which it was impossible to apply whereas financial assistance of the league has been granted even in times of peace to two countries and exactly to two countries who have refused to apply sanction against the aggressor, aggressors. Faced by the numerous violations, Faced by the numerous violations, Italian governments of all international territory that prohibited resort to arm and the use of barbarous method of warfare. It is my painful duty to note that the initiative has today been taken with a view to re to with a view to raising sanction, does this initiative not mean in practice the abandonment of Ethiopia to the aggressor? On the very eve of the day when I was about to attempt a supreme effort, a supreme effort in the defense of my people before this assembly. Does not this initiative deprive Ethiopia of one of her last chance to succeed in obtaining the support and guarantee of the state state members? Is that the gui the guidance the League of Nations and each of its state members are entitled to expect from the great power? when they assert their right and their duty to guide the action of the league placed by the aggressor face to face with the accomplished fact are stated going to set up the terrible president your your assembly will doubt doubtless have laid before its proposal for the reform of the covenant and for rendering more effective and guarantee collection security, guarantee more collective security, is it the covenant that need reform? What undertaking can have any value if the will to keep them in lacking. It is international morality which is at stake and not the article of the covenant. On the behalf of the Ethiopian people, a member of the League of Nations, I request an assembly to take all measures proper to ensure the respect of the covenant, I renew my protest against the violation of the treaty of which the Ito Ethiopian people had been the victim. I declare in the face of the whole world that the emperor, the government and the people of Ethiopia will not bow before forces that they maintain they claim that they will use all means in their power to ensure the triumph of right and the respect of the covenant. I ask the 52 nations who have given the Ethiopian people a promise to help them in their resistance to the aggressor. What are they willing to do for Ethiopia, the great power who have promised the guarantee of collective security to small states and who weigh the threat that they may, may one day suffer the, fee, the fate of Ethiopia, I ask what measure do you intend to take? Representative of the world, I come 
to Geneva, discharging in, in your midst the most painful and the, the most painful of the duty of the head of state. What reply shall I have to take back to my people? Holy Manuel I, King Selassie I, Ja Rastafari. Yes, yes, yes. So, my people, you know, see how unfair, you know, see how unfair the 52, the 52 nation was. See? How unfair. Who stand up to say no to Italy? Not one of them. When Italy had been in you know most part of Ethiopia. Once they saw that everybody said, Boy, all right, that is it. Italy already in there. Make them do them thing. See? Make them do them thing. That 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 is that is that is where we say. That is where we read. Let them do them thing. You see me say? So everybody out there who is talking Seboy, the speech was directed to all humanity. It wasn't so. It was a speech directed at the aggressors. See, it was a speech directed to the League of Nations. Right? And we cannot, we cannot, people don't try to mix up this thing because it is there, it is it it's out there, you know. People can go and read for themselves and make sense of what was taking place then. So we now want some little people now in in Europe who set them a rasta under this Bob Marley one love business. And Seboy the king did say this and the king did say that. The king said a lot of things. And it was all directed towards the League of Nations. The 52 state. See? The 52 state. What I love about that speech, the ending of it, His Majesty said, We will not bow. Yeah, now go bow to no guy. No care who you is. No care where you have. Not going bow. See? And this is how unfair and up to today these guys who feel say them is this thing you're free to assimilate. You're free to adapt. See? But don't come around here trying to dictate to us like Mussolini or the rest of the 52 states. It won't work and it will never work. You don't care how much artists you know, want to buy out. Them cannot make you know, to be what you are not. See? You don't care how much nice songs them want to sing. You know. You cannot be what you is not. See? That is thus the reality of the situation, my people. That is thus the reality. See? Yeah. So... We are going to conclude here, sir. Zane, 
Because as far as I can see, and as far as I can read, that speech was towards the fascist, racist, 52 nation, along with Italy. See? Because we see that in the end, all of them was fascist and all of them was racist. Because no one tried to denounce what Italy was doing in Ethiopia. None of them. See? None of them tried to denounce it. Everybody does sit back and everything was nice and easy. And everybody does all right. And that is that. Take over Ethiopia and, you know, share it. Because Italy was in alliance, was the whole league was in alliance with all the members except Ethiopia. See, all when Hitler was the baddest guy, none of them still, you know what I mean? Germany was still a part of the league. And Mussolini was waiting for it. Or him couldn't him run out of weight. Him run out of patience. Him couldn't wait for my boy if he get up again. Which was Hitler. Him said, boy, I'm going in for the prize. And him attack now. See? So, my people, never bow. Because the king Never bow. You don't care what them want to say. Say him run go England and him do this and him do that and the people them never respect him and all, all, we hear all sorts of things. One thing, him never bow. So my people, don't bow to none of these guys. None of them. I and I, we are Rastafari, and we don't bow. We're not going bow. So, my brothers and sisters, viewers and subscribers, this is all I really got time for, and I hope the item um, makes sense out of what I was reading earlier, uh, the presentation. Zin, we give thanks to the item, patient listening and rapid attention. Royal Art of Celebration again going through the earth. Holy Manuel I, Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. Bless and sanctify you know, my people. Sanctify and bless. Zin, yeah man, manners and respect to each and every one, you know. All right? Yeah man, more love, more strength to the item. Rastafari. Yes I, give thanks.